What's up world, I'm Mark Marcel. This video is entitled, It Is What You Make It. And basically it's just surrounding uh, the thought process of really the universe and you know how everything transpires. But, you know, in all my understanding, um, actually about like eight months ago or something, I put up a status on YouTube, uh, on our Facebook. And it said, you know, I'm starting to think the universe is exactly what you think it is. Meaning for Christians who believe Christ is the way, for them, they're right. For people who think Islam is the way, Muhammad in, in the Quran, that is right for them, and that is their way of life. And atheists, you know, people who think atheists, you know, nothing is the way, and they're right. Nothing. That's, that's right for them. And people like me who look at the world like a computer system, you know, I see where, you know, everything, your, your mind manipulates everything around you. And I'm right. But at the same time, we're all right. But at the same time, we're all very wrong. But that being said, I'm starting to feel like everything is what you make it. Because you got to understand, people who are in the Christian uh, theology, you know, growing up in it, they find all kind of things that, you know, that they feel resonate their beliefs. And as soon as they crack that door, that question, ah, well, well, what's this? Then they find all kind of things to where maybe they aren't, uh, maybe it isn't efficient for them or whatever, you know? Um, it'll give them more questions. As soon as they start questions, then it start giving them more answers, more things. So as soon as you start, like, as soon as that motor starts going, it starts giving you more things, like the law of attraction. For instance, on a very, I don't know, materialistic level, it's just like before I ever smoked marijuana, I didn't know anybody that smoked marijuana. Nobody that I could think of. I didn't know where to get it. And as soon as I started smoking marijuana, like they all started coming out the woodworks, like everywhere. Like, it's, it's, it's funny because, you know, I have people like, oh, you smoke marijuana? I smoke it. It was crazy, you know? And that's with everything in life. If you're a basketball player, you tend to have your surroundings, your friends in that environment. You know, um, if you're a model, if, if you, it, people in that environment, you know, um, if you're a poet, if you're an artist, if you're a singer, all in that type of environment, you, it's the law of attraction, you know? But through that, through everything of that, you know, there really is only one rule to the universe, and that is the yin and the yang. Everything has to have its positives and its negatives for you to understand what your situation is at that moment. Now, with that being said, the yin and the yang is also what you make it in the sense that the positive and the negative. You have to understand that we give these words, these feelings, for instance, positive, that gives off a, a annotation of it being actually positive. Negative, you actually feel like it is negative, almost like good and evil. But those are only words and feelings we come up with here. The yin and the yang, the opposites, it isn't actually a, a positive or a negative. It's just opposites of each other. We come up with what we think is negative. So we think certain things is negative here. So we attribute that to a the opposite vibration, the yang, so to speak. But it's not really negative. And the other isn't really positive. It is just the opposite. But you have to have all that because you have to have the opposite because it let you understand what you think, what you assess for it to be, you know, for you right then in that moment, what you feel is real to you. But in all that being said, in your understanding, uh, you have, 
I wouldn't say I would advise because you know this thing is this thing is about questioning. It's about wondering. It's about experiencing. So I wouldn't advise, but it would be good for you to be careful what you question, what you ask for, because this place, this universe. It's funny, I call it this and it a lot because, you know, the names we come up with it now with my understanding seem so elementary, but this place is designed to give you what you want, your answers. I see that a lot with myself, you know, I've gone down a deep rabbit hole, but it's, it keeps filling in the answers to my questions and, and gives me more questions. You know, it's like the more you question, you'll get those answers, but you'll get more things to question. So, like I said, I wouldn't advise because this place is for you to slip down the rabbit hole and everything is for you to remember what you are. But this place is designed for you to bring into your atmosphere everything in your life, what, what you want in the sense of how you feel and how you react. Um, even on smaller notes, I wouldn't say smaller notes, but on a different note, people who exhibit just a lot of anger, uh, ugliness, you know, they get those situations in their life. They get it. You know, I see that with me, you know, in, in the course that I've taken with changing myself, you know, I see just my atmosphere is just, just different. So I want to say that because people out there, your mind is the most powerful thing, thing there is because your mind created this in a sense, you're part of that and you're using it to be this avatar that you are. So you can make this place whatever it is that you want. It's beautiful, it's magnificent, and it is what you make it. So you can make it lovely for yourself, as magnificent for yourself that you want. And that kind of really also goes with this thing with ascension and everything else. Uh, everything is what you make it to be. Live, learn, love, and laugh. Respect. I know the game of respect. Even before I'm walking the lane, they see it's got it on my neck. Mark My Words Productions.